Hello guys. Today we're going to try to get Pimcar up and running using Docker. First, let's go to the Pimcar docs and get to the getting started. Installation, Docker based installation. We are going to do it a little bit differently first. Let's get a Docker Compose YAML started. For this, I'm going to go to GitHub and PIMCore Skeleton. And let's grab a part of the Docker Compose YAML, the PHP part. For this, let's open up the terminal. Let's go to my development folder and change my existing Docker Compose YAML here. This is copied from the older version, from the PIMCore uh, 10 version. So let's update this. Let's use 8.2. Environment variables seem to have changed also. That's perfect. There we go. This will set the install variables already to use uh, DB and MySQL password based on the uh, Docker Compose YAML. Actually, we won't need that for this part of the tutorial, but it will be useful for later on. We're not gonna depend on another uh, container and the volume looks like is correct. Let's save this. Let's check. Um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna assume you have Docker installed. I'm working with the version 24 and also Docker Compose, which is 2.3.3 for me. Let's clear this. Let's zoom in a little actually. Um, check the Docker Compose YAML again. Here you can define services. Services are basically containers in the Docker. Uh, it's like a server. Here I'm gonna have a PHP server with the image from which PIMCO provides, which is with PHP 8.2. It has debugging enabled, so you can use uh, PHP debugging and has set some environment variables. With this, you can uh, clone or create a PIMCO skeleton project. Here you see it's basically this. Only difference is I didn't have to uh, use these other commands since I have a Docker Compose YAML in my development folder so I can create as many as I want to. Let's go Docker Compose, execute. Actually, since I don't have it um, spun up, I'm gonna need to use run. This is the name of the Docker container, which is PHP, as you see up here. And now I can use the command um, composer, create project, Project. I'm gonna use the PIMCore skeleton project and I'm gonna name it local test. Of course, it's not Docker Composer, it's Docker Compose. I'm gonna make this mistake quite some time, quite a few times because I'm so used to write Composer for the PHP dependencies. 
This is going to download a bunch of images to get the PHP container up and running. After it pulled all the images, it's going to uh, spin up the image at the container and run the uh, composer command. As you might have seen in the container, I set the user to 1000, 1000. If you need to know what your UID and GID is, you can run, at least in Unix, ID-U for your user ID, ID-G for your group ID. And you can set it up here. So the, um, the rights are already set correctly to the files that it's generating with the container. Now it's creating the skeleton, downloading all the composer dependencies. And now I can change to my newly created local test directory and have all my files in here. Now, another tool you're going to need for this tutorial, at least I will be using it, is VS Code. You can use any other uh, code editor. Let's go code in this directory. And you already have your project in here. Inside here, you're gonna spin up all the Docker containers which are in the Docker Compose YAML in this directory. Let's check it out. Docker Compose YAML. There we have a bunch of containers, not just one. Redis is used for this uh, for the caching in PIM Core. DB is the database. We're gonna use MariaDB 10.11. It's setting some variables for the database. Also mapping a volume, defining the root password, database password, user password, and so on. Um, the health check is new for me. I'm actually not sure. I'm guessing it's some, some testing if the service is still running. Looks like it tries every 10 seconds for a maximum of six times, and it runs this command. Nginx is the web server, which is serving the files to the browser. It is already mapped 8080. We're gonna work in the HTML directory, which is read only since the Nginx container doesn't need to write anything. Then the PHP container, which we already made a copy. Here the user is not set. We can, all, uh, we can set it afterwards, editing the file. Actually, I'm gonna do that now. I prefer to do it inside of VS Code. Let's make this a little bigger. There we go. VS Code Docker Compose Yammer. And we're just gonna have to do this. And 1000, 1000 is correct for me. Supervisor D can also be set already. Supervisor D is used to uh, execute the maintenance jobs. Uh, you can see it in here in Docker directory, supervisor D configuration. It's gonna consume the messages from the Symfony Messenger, uh, which has some tasks about the PIMCO core, PIMCO maintenance, PIMCO schedule task, image optimization, asset update, and so on. And another program, which is maintenance, this maintenance command only fills tasks into the messenger uh, queue. So the messenger consume can execute the tasks afterwards. This is all configured here. Uh, 
there are some some testing containers which I haven't seen yet yet even also didn't use them till now and the volumes which are defined now let's spin it up docker compose up spins up the servers if you don't if you still want to use your terminal without it being locked down you can use d for decoupled it's gonna pull all the rest of the images as we've seen here we're using a redis image a mariadb image an nginx image this one we have already pulled there's a version with supervisor d considered and some that's it it already created everything it should be up and running and now we can access our pimco instance using localhost actually no we have to install it first of course There we go. Let's grab the terminal again and put it on the side. Oh, let's clear everything so it's more readable. Here. Let's go docker compose. We can use exec now since we have spun up our uh, containers so the php container is up and running and we can use it let's go vendor why is my auto completion not working uh, i do have a vendor, vendor folder it should be fine docker compose exec php Vendor, vendor, bin, pin core, install, mysql host socket is db, which sounds strange, but it's actually quite simple. It's the container db. The PHP container can access other containers using the name of the container. So instead of localhost, we're going to access a DB. Um, I could define the rest, but I'm just going to use the wizard, which is prompting me to add the rest. Let's put a very safe admin password, which is definitely not admin. Um, we're going to Install the backend search because why not? Um, you can choose which which bundles you want. I do prefer to install some bundles already. Do like the application logger. The custom reports are quite handy if you want to visualize some data. The glossary bundle bundle I never use. CU if it's a CMS page or something you're gonna need CU bundle. The simple backend search I already said I want. Let's put it in again. I don't know if it, that's going to work. I'm not going to use the PIMCO static routes. You can use the annotation routes from Symfony, which should be enough. Tiny MCE bundle we're going to need. That's the what you see is what you get editor for data objects and documents. I'm not going to use the UUID yet, word export also, and no xlib for me. Let's install. If you're wondering why I didn't have to set my database, my MySQL password, my MySQL username, that's because it's already defined inside the Docker Compose. I have these pimco install mysql username port even the host socket is already defined so I probably didn't even need to put the mysql host socket db into the command 
this is gonna set up the database put some files in place and it should be done in a second let's check the documentation after the install we should be done it's in localhost and localhost admin there we go let's check it out localhost admin interface since we have the skeleton the front end would be quite empty it's just a default pimco page and we're up and running let's go admin and definitely not admin and there we go we have a perfectly installed instance of PIMCore and it should also have all the bundles installed we have this is the custom reports and also seal bundle uh, with what else we installed the application logger should be around here somewhere there we go you can use the application logger it already installed the bundles and enabled them so you can go ahead and code if you check here in the config bundles it set all the bundles as enabled application logger custom reports pimco ceo backend search tiny mce and you can go ahead and create your website